What is up Super Squad? Welcome to episode 63. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I look, feel, and sound like crap because I am sick. This will be like my third day in bed, but you know what? I was like, hey, yo, dude, I gotta make a video for you guys. So, here I am coming at you with a Photoshop tutorial to show you guys, you know, how to make yourself glow like this. And hopefully this video will be useful for you guys so you can apply it to your own thumbnails and to your own YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. First things first, we're gonna be opening up Photoshop and we're gonna be pressing new project. Now it doesn't matter what size we're gonna be using just because this is a practice video, but if you guys wanna use thumbnail specs, it is 1280 by 720. So we're gonna create this. Next, we're gonna be adding our thumbnail or our image onto the slide. Now since this slide is full specs to thumbnail size, we are gonna to wanna to fill up the whole slide with the image, so we are gonna press the lock button right here and scale it up appropriately. Whoop, we don't wanna do that too much. Let's put it right here. Now that we have our image scaled appropriately, we are gonna be pressing our quick selection tool, which will be fourth down on the menu bar to your left. And basically what this is, this is a quick selection tool. Can't really explain it any other way. We're just gonna be clicking, clicking, clicking until our whole body is, or whatever you're doing for your thumbnail, is all highlighted. Now, if you want to go into detail and cut everything out, you could by pressing Alt, and that makes it negative and basically taking out what you selected. Of course, that will make it sloppy. You can adjust it and do fine tuning, but for this video, we're just gonna basically fill up the whole thing. Now that our whole body or whatever you're trying to make glow is selected, you're gonna be pressing Command J. And I believe that is Control J on a PC. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. And now we have our first layer set up. And in your layer bar to your bottom right, you see that there's a little PNG or a little outline of my body. But it doesn't translate to the main image right here. Now that's how it appears, but if we press V and our selection tool, you will see that this is actually a separate layer. And my hair is a little cut off, it actually looks a lot cooler, but we are gonna put it right back to where it is right here. Now that layer one is selected right here, we are gonna be pressing our menu bar and going to blending options right here. Then we're gonna go all the way down on styles and we're gonna press outer glow. And there you have it, we are glowing right now. Now there's many different functions you can tinker with. You can make the spread wider, you can make the size larger. You can just basically do anything. It's up to you guys and what you guys wanna do with it. And basically your limit of creativity. Now let's say you want a little more contrast with the background. Let's say that's not enough. The glow is cool, but you want a little more. You want yourself or whatever you're trying to make glow, you want it to pop out you want it to pop out a lot more. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press OK right here, and we're gonna be selecting our screenshot, uh, AKA our background. We can delete this old background because this is useless. Now that our background is selected, we're gonna be pressing the menu bar again, going to blending options just like we did before, and now we can do a color overlay, we can do a gradient overlay. We get, it's limitless, you guys can tinker around with this. This is There's so much to do with this. Literally, the options are limited to your imagination. You can do whatever you want. Now, let's say you want to take it another step farther and let's say this is not enough for you. Let's say that, you know, having a rainbow background isn't enough for you, I guess. We are going to be pressing OK and going to the top filter selection and scrolling all the way down to blur. And once we hit blur, we're going to go down to radial blur and 10 is OK. You can mess with the number. Now, I usually leave it at 10. I actually don't really mess with radial blur too much just because it's... I mean, having a rainbow background is enough. But that's all up to you guys, so we're gonna be pressing OK, and bang, you have a spinning background, and your body stays normal, but if you move yourself like so, you can actually see the whole image below the PNG or the layer of yourself is radial blurred. You're just sitting on top of it like you're a cool kid. Anyways, you guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Hopefully, I am feeling better in the next couple days so I can do a vlog or do something that doesn't involve me sitting in my room because I'm getting sick of sitting in my bed. If you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. And if you guys want more tutorials like this, this is usually isn't what I do, but you know, again, you can find in my room. Comment in the comment section down below letting me know that you like this video and maybe if you guys need any other pointers, of course, you know, hit me up. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today. Hope to see you next time.